In today's video, I'm going to explain to you how to get Certus Quartz in Applied Energistics 2. So this has changed a little bit from before. You used to be able to just mine and ore for it, but now you have to do a few different steps to go ahead and get it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get ourselves a meteorite compass. And to do this, we need to use a charger. So essentially, we need to get some kind of energy cell, place the charger on top, and inside here, we want to go ahead and place a compass. Now, if you give it a few seconds, it's going to go ahead and turn into a meteorite compass here. And this is needed to go ahead and find a meteorite which contains the Certus Quartz. So you can see the way that it works is it's going to go ahead and point towards the closest one. Uh, you can see here the like blue sort of arrow. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in the direction that it's showing me until I find one. Now the chances are when you have been playing the game you've probably seen a meteorite because it has a massive crater in the ground just like this. So you can see here this is going to be the meteorite and you can see once I'm on top of it it's going to start spinning. So they're not always underwater, um, they're often just in the land but what you want to do is break into it here and when you break into it it's going to take you into a little area that looks like this. So inside of it, you're going to have a few different items here. The first one you're going to get is a mysterious cube. And inside the mysterious cube, this is going to give you the presses that you need for using um, the, on the inscriber, basically. You can go ahead and break that and you're going to get the items uh, just like that. Now here, you're going to see we have the Certus Quartz. On the top here, these are the Certus Quartz um, sort of items that you can break. Uh, you've got this one, so you've got different sizes, medium, large, small, um, and this these are what you can break to go ahead and get the Certus Quartz. Now, you can use a pickaxe to go ahead and do this, and when you break it, they're going to go ahead and drop the Certus Quartz. Now, underneath, you're going to see these different blocks here. So, um, you have the damaged budding Certus Quartz, you have chipped, uh, you have flawless and you have flawed and basically these different ones here are going to grow the Certus Quartz at different amounts. So essentially these will regenerate the Certus Quartz and you can go ahead and move all of these with Silk Touch apart from the flawless ones. The flawless ones if you go ahead and break them then they're going to be damaged and when you go ahead and place it it's going to uh, deteriorate gradually. So this one here is going to basically go ahead and generate Certus Quartz forever, whereas the rest are going to eventually break and stop uh, generating it. So you don't want to move the flawless ones, but the rest you can go ahead and move with Silk Touch. And you can automate the process of collecting the Certus Quartz here. Um, you know, very, well, not, not super easy, but not super difficult. So you can go ahead and move these ones here with Silk Touch. Don't move these as these will break and you're not going to be able to um, get the material forever. But that's basically how you go ahead and get the Certus Quartz. If you want me to make a more in-depth guide about maybe how to farm it or setting up automations for it, let me know down below and I'll go ahead and do that. But if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.